And of course, welcome back. We are joined by a veteran here today. Oh yes, a veteran in the entertainment industry, Ayo Shunaya, who is a film producer and lawyer. Mm -hmm. He's also a music talent agent and has managed many of Nigeria's top artists. Now the list is long. Fuji music star was you and Ide Marshall. Imagine well, managing someone ultimate. like that. Pop star, the band, music producer, Don Jazzy, LD, the Don, some great names in that. Yes, list. indeed. Yeah. And look at Ayo sitting down there looking so humble. Yes, yeah, so looking I mean, all chill. <laughs> and you're welcome. Back. Uh, good to have <laughs> good you morning. here. Yes. Let's now, um, oh, you want to go first? Ooh, I'm so sorry. Like, ladies first. Wow. It's as you know. Okay. I'm, I'm just so excited. <laughs> no, it's because, I'm, you know, we, know, we know each other for long now. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, so, industry, so. Yeah. Yes. We used to call you Oku, but uh, And I used fine. to call you yeah. No, 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 please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm wearing the right she's color. Yeah, she's yeah. branding. <laughs> exactly, you're wearing yeah. the color. Yes, yes, so. yes, yes. What so. is going on today? It's an inside, it's an inside thing. Okay. But it's great to see you out and about looking so great. Um, so, and we know you've been working on a, an amazing project for a long time. You need to yes. let us in on what that's about. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm releasing a documentary that I've been filming for 20 years. Oh, wow. From to wow, wow, wow. 1919 to 2019. Oh, wow. So, you know, and then we've been producing it from 2019 oh, till wow. now. So it's ready now. The the stuff that we've been cooking, we're, but okay. we're going to present it on the plate. What is it called? It's called Afrobeats The Backstory. Okay. Hmm. So it's a story about the history, the present, and the future of okay. this genre we now call Afrobeats. This genre we're now enjoying. Mm. This genre that's now winning Grammy. Mm. So basically, it's very, very timely that the documentary is coming out. Fantastic. You're the right yes. person to ask this question now. Go finally, ahead. I get to have a jury on this one. Okay. So, Afrobeats yes. and Afrobeat yes. are two different genres. Or yes. are they one and the same or just sharing some boundaries? Uh, the answer is yes and no. Okay. <laughs> so, no, they're not the same. Afrobeat is fella. Afrobeat is... Mm. African pop music, African pop. but you can see one cannot, one begat the other, mm. to use a biblical uh, mm. uh, a phrase. So basically, Afro beat fella is mm. pretty much the parent mm. of Afro beats mm. because okay. Afro beat fella is mixed with a lot of pop, we mixed with a lot of dancehall, yeah. mixed with a lot of other uh, uh, popular music around the world yeah. to make Afro beats. Now. Interesting. That's the reason why the whole world and, is And you've been it. around to see this evolution. We were just ah, looking at a, yes, a couple of the clips that yeah. uh, uh, will come from uh, your uh, documentary. Yes. Yes. How you shared some of the founding moments mm -hmm. with some of the big names that we know mm -hmm. now in Afro beats. Mm -hmm. yes. Now that must be a very interesting experience. You know their backstories. Yes. You know the flaws they've made, the challenges they've been through. Yeah. Are we going to see all of this inside of your documentary you're going to see almost all of it because yeah. of course you know in the music industry we can't show everything of i know even <laughs> even though i was recording everything i can't show everything but i'm showing the parts that uh, how should i that matter okay and fits the narrative of what i'm trying to do in the documentary what i'm trying to do is just to trace the beginning Okay. The genesis, the origin, the foundation okay. up until what we have now. So this is not a case of the good, the bad, the... And the interesting. Ah. Nah. <laughs> so it's not the ugly. No. There's a lot of ugly, especially, I mean, not to say anything disparaging about Fuji music. Okay. Fuji music is where I started. I'm, okay. like, I'm a filmmaker and I'm a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But I got into Fuji music through Asu Ainde because I was his lawyer. Oh. And I was doing a documentary on him. So we became close and he said, why don't you join us on tour? Mm. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And then I said, okay, if Are I'm going to do that, I'm going to be life. recording. Mm. I'm going to be recording everything. So okay. if you see some of the clips, it gave me a lot of access. Wow. I will record when it's playing with his kids. I record wow. when, you know. I've recorded while they are, you know, having fights in the studio, mm. and you know, but that's what I'm saying. Everything is the backstory. How mm. many parts is this documentary? Nine parts. Nine. Nine parts. It originally started as six mm. parts. Okay. But when we started doing it, it ended up being nine. We can see a video here of K1 way back. I don't know who he's harassing here. <laughs> that's, uh, but these are the moments we're looking that, yeah, forward to. Yeah, that's Lati. The guy in the orange is Lati. Uh -huh. He's one of his bodyguards. Mm. And uh, we always just play around like that. Uh -huh. So when I when he told them that we were anyway. filming. He said, mm. perform now, do something, Lati, mm. do your dance. And Lati yeah. was like, uh, so. How long ago was that? Yeah. How long ago? This was, uh, that was 2000. Yeah, 2000. Wow. So about a year ago. after I joined uh, Wasu. Yes. Wow. Mm. Well, so if, if I may ask now, to see that evolution um, into Afro beats. Yes. Can you give me one or two names that were absolutely critical mm. in making this evolution happen? DJ Jimmy Jat. 
Wow. Really? DJ Jimmy Jat is the one that used to give, if you listen to the song, Styly, uh, uh, Two Faced, mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy, yeah. DJ Jimmy Jat, now they give us instrumental. Mm -hmm. yes. So basically, that's what he used to do. He used to provide instrumental from hip hop mm. uh, 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 songs mm -hmm. for Nigerians to rap on. Oh. So basically, when you get the instrumental, you rap on it in Pidgin, yeah. or you rap on it in Yoruba, mm -hmm. or you rap on it in your. Thing. And that is how Afro Beats started. You know, Afro yeah. Beat Fella is a combination of high life mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, jazz yes. and James Brown yeah. <laughs> funk. and the, yeah funk exactly mm -hmm. but Afro beats is actually Afro beats mm -hmm. mixed with hip hop yeah. and Yoruba language a lot of Yoruba language and a lot of pigeon mm. and stuff like that so really mm. I would put it uh, at the doorstep of Jimmy Jat. so I have to ask you who did you believe needed to hear this story everybody okay especially the young ones okay you see a lot of these young people on social media mm. it's what they know that they will put on social media yeah. like if you wake up one day in 19 mm. not even 19 mm. 2000 and, <laughs> 2012 yeah and then you you know you will now put it out and say oh this person is the best mm. uh, he's the greatest yeah. he is the beginning yeah. he is the end he's the alpha he's the omega and everything but that's the limit of your own knowledge so you're putting it out of course some other people will pick it up as well, retweet it, repost it, and everything will now become. So basically what I want to do is to tell everybody the story, but most importantly, the young people mm. right. to know where this music came from and where it's Now, going. there's some young people that might not have seen this particular performance before. You need to check this out. <laughs> Or should I say this? Quick stepping on my toes with a click of holes. Nigga, please get in better jeans. This is how it goes. Strictly Mr. Robert and FC. You blight yourself, Jesus. And now, I've, I've got so much to say about that clip. First of all, that was that's Weird, weird MC. MC. Yes. Secondly, Geisha, that is actually, the now. base of that song she was actually singing was actually Afrobeat. So where, that is where <laughs> you are marrying Afrobeat, Afrobeat fella. And with contemporary sounds. Yeah, with sample now, palava. thirdly, the the backup singers who are those <laughs> you should tell us who those were okay so the backup singers she had back four backup singers uh -huh. so let me start okay. with the first two uh <laughs> boom shakalak what's that I've, I've gotten a real name now oh. because you call it boom shakalak you know uh -huh. she played yeah oh yeah she uh -huh. okay. wife she's yeah. an actress as well mm -hmm. and the other two uh two face and blackface two face and blackface were weird MCs, singers backup for weird singers, singers. Uh, for, for weird MCs. how many people knew that who would believe it if you were telling them without showing them that yeah. clip like, you see, that's ah, the thing. how far no now that's the thing about this documentary that i'm doing i can sit down here and tell you some stories that you look at me and say that guy is lying man he's look, exaggerating look, look, look at put, look, look at them, them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, two that. that's two face and, yeah, black and blackface yeah. unbelievable so when i put the video you will now say ah so video doesn't lie it doesn't uh -huh. it's how and you've you got down such a wealth it, yes. of them i mean i can't imagine how did you maintain how did you keep how did you protect all of these clips how do you protect them from going bad because i can imagine you were recording on, uh, on vhs tape. tapes yeah uh, well vhs well, that's, uh, yeah. with your high eight mm -hmm. and then over the time it became yeah. like yeah. mini dvs and stuff mm -hmm. like that and of course i live in england where ah, it's not so hot okay. all the time so there the storage. You go. but even though good good question you asked when we started doing bringing out the archives and mm. playing it some of them would be glitching and mm. everything wow. so we had to go clean it up Goodness. and you know so that one itself is like really wow. really crazy and cost me a lot I can't of money wait to see the documentary yeah. how how long is it nine part did you say? nine part of 45 minutes each 45 wow. that's a, okay. oh wow. that's like making four feature films amazing um, yes mm. yes yes mm. I'm, I'm hoping you're gonna be your plan for putting this out there is going to be very accessible mm. very very accessible going to come out on streaming platforms right mm. after we do the premiere the premiere is uh, on april 2nd which okay. is good friday All right yes then. yes mm. I, I feel like it's a story that needed to be told yeah and i think mm. it's, you're one of the best people to tell the story oh thank um, you thank honestly you. um from what we're already seeing from those clips yes. it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be very nostalgic yeah. gonna be very very interesting and mm -hmm. very very educational yes exactly. it's like a history lesson yeah. at, at some point i thought maybe i was doing a ph phd thesis mm. on afro beats and everything was just like you know okay. but i survived it yes, and, you uh, yes, yes so. you well, let's do another clip yeah. and then titi's got a surprise for you which yeah. i think uh, surprise <laughs> i'm not too happy about but let's check this clip wow. out okay go ahead, go ahead. Beats, the documentary and uh i'm here with Saz. Saz on the beat that's on all the beats. Sounds on the Afro beats. Malian is a true fan of Naira Mali. When I first heard the term Afro beats, it sounded perfect for me. You can't say Afro beats without saying Afro beats. Not all music in Africa is Afro beats.